a bit. When I arrived here first, I was really astonished by the building and by the by the vibe of the whole community. It's really the whole Jaga space is really a very strange experience. And the first thing I automatically had to think of was a short story by Franz Kafka. It's called the Old Manuscript, and it's like a story. It's a village somewhere in China, and from one day to another, everything has changed somehow. There are some strange people in the city, some kind of nomads. They talk a different language, they do not really communicate with the people who are living around. They are just existing somehow. And they do not hide themselves, they do not disappear, they are just here. And this is something I really like about the Jaga, because if you look a little bit around, you see all these residential houses, you see some commercial life in the streets, and then you have this strange building. generated new forms. The figures followed each other like on a carpet that in restless throes became enfolded and retrieved again. This outweighed the senses. So I was thinking doing this whole life project should have a relation to this uh, character of the Jaga building as well. I like very much the idea always of patterns of light going to all of the open buildings. This was very important to me. Open up a little bit more this naked structure of the building, of the palisades, of, uh, of the metal bones and so on. Based on these patterns, I, I used a poem. A poem which is about uh, patterns of light and the seaside. But it's like a kind of a reflection which I can see on the roof. And I chose the roof because the roof was always my favorite place when I was here at Jaga. outweighed the senses. A smooth boom affected them and brought to mind the beats of distant breakers and the rhythm of milestones that can be heard on rocky coasts. The fine, the fine crystal, crystal sand, sand of dunes It was dark inside the space, cradled by a soft roll and shaken by a subtle tremble. And also, um, I like very much uh, because this building is here, it is existing, but very often the neighbors say, don't want to come in, they think, what is this? They are not, not sure, can we just go in or something? To also to um, project something on the facades, to communicate a little bit with the neighborhood and just to show a little bit of our idea. So, um, so I did a video together with, with Ria, designer from Bangalore, where actually some ideas of the projects which are happening here are painted on the facade. And from outside it looks a little bit like somebody from the inside is painting against uh, the canvas and so And all the, the drawings and paintings you can see from outside are related to all the installations which are here in this place. But the movement the persistently generated new forms. Cradled by a soft roll and shaken by a subtle tremble. At its top rotated a light show of lines. But the movement persistently generated new forms. Silver sparks scattered, flashing, shivering and touching, only to find each other. 
each other again. Flashing, At the moment, shivering. A sister, the wing of a gull divided the salty air. Medusa stretched and released the screens and the fronds of a coconut palm waved in the wind. In the sea Fine garden, brown and green tangs flooded the purple tufts of the water lilies. The, the fine crystal, crystal sand, sand of dunes.